Work is expected to begin soon on the Ramsey Mountain area in Independence County. RDOT announced its plans a few months ago to add an additional road for first responders to use in the event of an emergency. Hayden Savage joins us live from the area tonight. And Hayden, you spoke with RDOT about that process today. What did they have to say? Yeah, hey, good evening, Diana. Ramsey Mountain right here to the south of Batesville, well known for keeping traffic shut down for long periods of time, whether that's just a general accident, a semi rollover, <clears throat> excuse me, or something else. But that's why RDOT wants to build a highway right behind me in the general vicinity here of Ramsey Mountain to try to alleviate those issues. It's a beautiful uh, gateway to the city of Batesville. Uh, but it is a, uh, a, a dangerous curve. If you've traveled on Highway 167 south of Batesville, you know about the Ramsey Mountain Curve. The U-shaped curve can sometimes be a challenge for drivers, especially semi-trucks and 18-wheelers. We have a lot of accidents on there, and when it does, it paralyzes uh, both of our communities, the city of Batesville and the city of Southside. That's why a new roadway that will be open to the public when an accident is blocking the Ramsey Mountain Curve is being built by the Arkansas Department of Transportation. RDOT District 5 resident engineer Dustin Treadway explained the new road will hopefully cut down on some of those delays caused by an accident. Hopefully it'll alleviate any traffic issues when there's accidents or truck rollovers because there's no other road to get around for about 15 miles. Treadway said a contractor has been selected and a few more things will need to be done before crews can begin laying asphalt. They're planning on getting, work, getting to work on this project and completing it by the end of 2024. But as of right now, we're still waiting on a bunch of submittals and shop drawings to get approved. Batesville Mayor Rick Ellenbaugh said not only will this help the traffic flow in general, but it will also save first responders time getting to another accident in the county. We, we know how important it is timing is, and so we're the only 24-7 uh, rescue in the county. Now, RDOT said that that road will go somewhere in the vicinity right here at the uh, at the bottom of Ramsey Mountain. And they said uh, it's going to have gates blocking it from whenever Highway 167 is open for general traffic. And whenever an accident does happen, they'll shut down the roadway and open up the gates to that new roadway. Live in Independence County, Hayden Savage, K8 News. Hayden, thank you for that report. And you can see just how busy that area is. Well, RDOT said the project will end up costing around $1 million when it is completed.